This is a 2005 BMW Z4. And while it looks very fancy, this is actually one of the cheapest sports cars you can buy right now. Most people who buy a budget sports car to thrash on the weekend do the obvious thing and buy an old Mazda MX-5. But I have a suspicion that for a little more money, this might be a lot more car. Today, I'm going to find out if that's true with the help of my mate Adam. He's owned three MX-5s and, if it were legal, would probably marry one. Now, I have to make a sports car confession to you, first of all. Go on. You know I've never driven an MX-5, right? Really? Yeah, I tried once. <laughs> Couldn't get my legs in. That's because you are a Yeti. I'm a huge man. Yes. I literally, my leg was pinned between the door and steering wheel. Just door. looking over the top of the windscreen. It was, yeah, it was yeah. not good. I can't yeah. drive one, so I'll never know what the fuss is about. You've owned about 80 of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Briefly summarize, briefly, because I know that you could go on for <laughs> nine years about the MX-5. Briefly explain to me what makes them the best. It's all you could want from a small sports car. It en encapsulates everything that made the British sports cars great, the ones back in the 50s and 60s. Lightweight, steering wheel, engine at the front, no roof, drive to the back, job done. It's so small, you can put it anywhere, you can get every apex with it, and it's just beautiful, beautiful. Cloth seats, wind-up windows, remember those? Um, the tiniest, smallest little five-spoke alloys you've ever seen. I drove that all around Europe, it had done 150,000 miles, and I never had a problem with it until it rusted out. Um, now say all of that again, but much shorter. Okay, um, they're cheap and they handle well. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about this car. I've got some numbers for you, yeah. okay? This is an early Z4. It's the smallest engine. It's the two litre four cylinder. Yep. Four cylinder BMW feels a bit wrong, but mm. it makes sense as an MX-5 competitor because it's like 150 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Um, handful more than an MX-5. Handful more. It weighs 300 kilos more than a Mark that's, II MX-5. That's substantial. 1,300, that's a lot. That's like having me as a passenger all the time. You can get a cheap Z4 for about two and a half K. Yeah. Which is more than an MX-5, right? That's what a really I mean, you can get a nice Mark, Mark II for that, yeah. yeah. Maybe a scruffy Mark III. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, when we're talking like cheap sports cars, what else is down there for that price? Like, is true. an early true. TT? No yeah. thanks. Yeah. Um, you can't have a Fiat Marquetta for that money. First impressions, it's bloody nice in here, isn't this it? This interior, I tell you what, it's lovely. You could... With these streaks of aluminium. Aluminium. We've been shouting about the red leather the whole oh, time here. Love red it's leather. It's so nice. Love red leather. It's like being inside a German brothel. Oh yeah. So refinement check. Yeah. But we knew it was going to be posher than a Mazda MX-5. Oh yeah. Right? yeah. That's a given. Yeah. Seats are good. Yeah. Steering wheel's amazing. You've got, you got enough wheel. space as well. I have enough space. Yeah. I actually have enough space. It's unheard of. This bonnet is huge. It's ludicrous. My friend whose car this is, he said to me when he gave it to me, he was like. Be careful turning in junctions because the bonnet's longer than you think. And yeah. I was like, dude, I know how cars work. I yeah. know how long bonnets are. I completely see why he said that now. It just kind of yeah. disappears. The front wheels are a long way away. Oh, yeah, I have no <laughs> idea where they are. engine is, uh, I don't, is it underwhelming? Is underwhelming harsh? I don't think that's fair because it's, it is revvy. Yeah. It does rev. I think the thing is like you don't expect an MX-5 to be fast because it's so tiny and Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this, because it's like big and German and posh and it's got a long bonnet. Yeah. It kind of looks and feels like it should be a bit more grunty. Yeah. By the way, how funny is it that this car, like in almost identical body shape, you can have it from 150 to 350 yeah. horsepower. Yeah. My friend um, who owns this Z4, he's thinking about swapping it for an M. The first time he puts his foot down in an identical car with triple the power, he's going to fill his pants. Yes. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Want to have a go? I'd love a go. Let's get you a go. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. 
Whoa! <laughs> you really don't get that in a two litre Z4. No, it doesn't do that. Right then, you MX-5 shagger. Yes. Let's see what you think about this. It doesn't feel as heavy as I was expecting to. It doesn't, does it? It doesn't feel heavy at all. And yet, it still feels so solid compared to an MX-5. It has sendability. It does, and because it's such a small, compact engine, it's light at the nose. How do you feel about the looks of this thing? It's not aged super well it's on the outside. Aged, it's not aged well. It comes from that era of, you know, Dingle Dangle, Christopher Bangle BMWs. Who? Uh, Chris Bangle, he's the BMW designer. Who? I don't think he actually designed this, to be honest. Um, his name but is what, sorry? Chris Bangle. Chris Bangle? Chris Bangle, yeah. Absolutely. Chris Bangle. Full of Chris Bangles, this car. I was ready to really dislike this. I thought, what's the point in getting a four-cylinder a four-cylinder Z4? Z4 yeah, you know. Um, but it's actually Go on, send very, it. very send nice. Send it. Because it's not very powerful. It means you can use all of it. Like I've got my foot flat to the floor yeah. all the time, and that's what's so endearing about small sports cars, isn't it? Here's the million-dollar question. Yeah. Two and a half grand in your bank account. Mm -hmm. Two-seater sports car, mm -hmm. clean Mark II MX-5 mm -hmm. or BMW Z4? MX-5. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the MX-5, it's uh, it's still the best driver's car out there for the money. Well, there you go. I, I knew you were going to say that, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. How about this? MX-5, the king of the bargain basement sports car, yeah. but for a little bit more, this is a daily. This is a daily drivable. So if this if this had a big old straight six in it, oh, all over that. Different All levels. over that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we have it. If you are looking for something that's really cheap, buy an MX-5. Yeah. If you're looking for something that's really cheap that you plan on driving every day, buy this two litre Z4. Yeah. And if you've got a bit more money, have yourself a straight six. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Job done.